Have you ever made art that you didn't love or that felt unfinished? Well, today I'll be sharing a really simple mixed media collage art tutorial that will help you to repurpose some of your old art to new art. Towards the end of the video, I'll be showing a couple of other ideas that you can try as well. Welcome to day 22 in our 30 day art challenge. If you are just now finding us, my name is Cynthia with Mindful Creative Muse. We offer calming art activities for self care. You can find more in the description box below as well as the free 30 day calendar so you can follow along. So during our 30 day art challenge, I've just been setting aside some of my artwork. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to flip through some of the recent art that I've made to see if any of them feel like they're unfinished or that I'd like to repurpose them. So you might do this with your art practice or in your art journal. You may already set aside artwork that feels undone or that you want to come back to. Many people will work on multiple um, pages in their journal or multiple pieces. So this is one that's undone for me. I want to write something in those spaces, but I'm not sure quite yet what. And this one also feels undone. So this is one of my mindful watercolor doodles. And you may have seen another video here on my channel about it. Here's a couple of others that I did. You can see they're more detailed. I did spend more time on them. So today I'm going to repurpose this old mindful watercolor doodle with some collage. So I love this combining different media. So this mixed media collage art tutorial today will have both watercolor painting, some ink drawing, as well as collaged art materials from magazines. So these are some images that I had from our recent video that we just did creating soul collage cards. You can check that out as well. I'm going to link some of the um, videos that I'm mentioning here in the description box if you're curious to see those practices, if you're just now joining the 30 day art challenge. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using these initial scraps. Again, you might have a whole scrap pile, especially if you make soul collage cards or if you do a lot with collage art techniques. Um, you might have a huge pile you can pick from. So I thankfully only had about five images, so that helps with overwhelm to keep it very simple. I felt particularly drawn to these two flowers. They felt like a good size to be in the middle of my mindful watercolor doodle here, and the colors matched along with that softer pastel pink background that's happening. So what I mentioned in my other soul collage um, cards tutorial is I like to have the placement for the collage images first and then gently hold them in place as I glue behind them. I have a few other techniques. This is one I've been going to lately because it's really simple. And I just want to say that also about having a creative art practice that sometimes simple is better, less is more, especially when we have so much going on in our days and we're already stressed. It's nice to have really a simple stack of art materials we can pull out or we already have them on our desk or in our mindful art studio and we can have just one simple prompt to get us started. So I find that helps me and my students to avoid overwhelm or feeling stuck. Um, so I'm just doing some tracing here around some of the images just to help them pop off the page and to also help integrate these collage art um, magazine images into the background since there's already some of that line work. So of course any of the things that I'm doing here in my art activities may or may not work for you. You might be using entirely different art materials and definitely may have a completely different style and that's absolutely okay. What I love, as you may have heard me say already about mindful art activities, is that it really is ultimately about the process, not the final product. And this 30 day art challenge is about making space for ourselves to have more self care and create as a way to de stress. And so even though we may want to love everything we're making that might not always happen. And so that's why today's prompt of old versus new is a great way to step into what do we do when we make something that we don't love or that feels unfinished and how can we be with that and perhaps how can we spark our creativity by stepping back into it later and making something new. So if you make soul collage cards, this is another idea that this is a frame I have. It's five by eight. It's perfect for soul collage cards. And so I'm just finding a 
a frame here that might feel good. I kind of like this orientation. I decided not to ultimately cut out this, but you can definitely always create a mixed media collage into a soul collage ultimately. So I just wanted to show that as an idea. Another thing that I often do with my mindful watercolor doodles that you'll see in my other videos, as well as more in depth with my online course that's coming up, is to use intentions or words of affirmation. I noticed when I was making this, I kept thinking about that phrase I mentioned earlier, that art is simple, that we can keep it simple, and that there's this preciousness to these images without it being too precious. So creating in a way where I'm honoring it and the sacredness of creating and how it's serving me for self-care, but not holding it so delicately like a flower or preciously that it stops me from creating. So I don't know if that ever comes up for you, but it can be a delicate balance. And I'm not sure if you can read this here. This says there is freedom in simplicity and beginning again, always again. A couple of other ideas I want to share is if you've been following along with a 30 day art challenge, you may have made some Zentangle mandalas or doodles that we have not colored in yet. So you can always have, have that as your old versus new. So you can color those in. You can also go back to some of your contour drawings, color that or change it into your beloved letter to yourself. Please definitely subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when we release our upcoming videos. And please like any videos that really resonate with you. That's a great way for me to know to create more of those kinds for you.